A tentative railway labor agreement is keeping tens of thousands of workers on the job. It was reached just hours before the strike deadline. President Biden played a role in the talks and praised the agreement today in the Rose Garden. With this agreement, railroad companies will be able to retain and recruit workers. They'll be able to continue to operate effectively as a vital piece of our economy. While the negotiations are between employees and freight railroads, thousands of Amtrak San Joaquin riders have the potential to be impacted as their route operates on tracks owned by BNSF, Railway and Union Pacific. Trains were preemptively suspended, but as of this morning, Amtrak riders in the San Joaquin Valley were able to once again purchase tickets for Amtrak trains. And so hundreds of riders were impacted this morning, and the deal is not yet final. Strike averted. As rail companies and their workers reached a tentative agreement to avoid a nationwide strike that could have shut down the nation's freight trains, Amtrak riders are breathing a sigh of relief. I kind of was a little panicked because, as I said, I do travel quite a bit. Uh, using Amtrak is my way to get to my work. Gas is so outrageous right now, and it's just so easy to get on a train and read a book or do some work or whatever you need to do while you're uh, heading down the track. While Amtrak wasn't directly involved with negotiations, if a deal wasn't reached, nearly all Amtrak trains outside of its Northeast Corridor line ran the risk of shutting down. That includes Amtrak San Joaquin's, which operates on tracks owned by BNSF Railway and Union Pacific. The company preemptively suspended service as an agreement hadn't been reached by end of business Wednesday. Jason Musgrove is one of roughly 200 passengers impacted Thursday morning. He says he's used to getting confirmation emails prior to his trip, but wasn't expecting to find what he did in his inbox. I happened to read it and like, oh, I have to pick another train to ride tomorrow. President Biden announced the deal after a 20-hour negotiating session at the Labor Department, which came just one day before the threatened walkout. The fact that we are in another tentative agreement arrangement with all of the parties involved is a really strong sign that the parties are moving closer together. Uh, so hopefully we won't be in uh, the position that we have been in this week uh, again. The deal, which includes a 24 percent pay raise, will go to union members for a vote after a cooling off period. San Joaquin Joint Powers Authority marketing manager David Lapari says regardless of the outcome, they're prepared to get riders to their destinations. We have a lot of trains running in the Amtrak San Joaquin's corridor, not just our trains, but also the freight trains. So regular communication and ops planning is something that we do on a day to day basis. Amtrak San Joaquin's is assuring riders they will be back to full service by tomorrow.